Hey golf fanatics, I'm Erica Larkin and today we're talking about the short game. To scoop or not to scoop? That is the question. Now, scooping doesn't sound like it's a good idea, right? A wristy motion at the bottom of the swing, but it's all about what your intention is. If your intention is to hit the ball high or low, you want to have the right club face position to make that happen. And sometimes scooping at the bottom of the swing is a good thing if your intention is to hit the ball high. So let's just quickly go through a little refresher on both shots. Chipping, we want to present a more de-lofted position of the club face. And so I'm going to start with a back ball position and my hands a little ahead of the club. This makes the tool set up with less loft. And now I would want to maintain that angle if my intention is to hit a low running shot like that. And that works well and fine. If I want to hit it higher, I'm going to do a couple things. Move my ball position a little more forward, maybe open the club face a little bit. But on the way through, depending on how high I want to hit it, I want that club head to release under the golf ball to expose the bounce so I don't dig that leading edge into the ground and also to throw the ball higher up into the air. So let's try one and let those wrists just gently scoop through. You can see how the ball went right up in the air, settled down nice and soft right near the flag. So a scooping action of the wrist can actually work in your favor when you want to hit that nice high soft lob shot. So get out there and practice scooping or not, depending on what you're trying to do around the greens. You want to be comfortable both ways. If you've got any questions or comments on this, please leave them below. I'll get back to as many as I can.